It's been almost 50 years since prayer was officially banned in public schools here in the United States. But during that time, a lot of the supporters have not given up the fight. In fact, 25 years ago, there was a major effort here in Arizona, a bill in the state legislature. So from 1984, here's reporter Lou Ruggiero with the effort to get prayer back in public schools. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. You can still find prayer in the schools, but first you have to find the right schools. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Welcome to Father Anton Renna's Honors English class at Brophy Prep. Today's scripture is from the New Testament. Brophy Prep is a private Catholic high school, and one state legislator thinks public schools could benefit by trying what goes on there. And she lobbied in Washington last week for congressional votes to change the U.S. Constitution. I'm appalled to think that we even have to put something like that in law. I think that should be our inalienable right. But to say to a school district that they should sponsor a specific time and lead students in a prayer, we are opposed to that. Down the street from Brophy Prep, it looks like the students at Central High won't have to deal with school prayer for the moment, but that doesn't mean no one's given it any thought. There are two different types of religions at Central High School for them to have, a, you know, prayer in school. Yeah, there's a lot of hypocrites out there, and they think that prayer is going to help somebody, and it doesn't. So the U.S. Senate has voted down the constitutional amendment that would allow prayer in public schools. But as you look around the Central High School campus, only one thing really seems clear. The emotional debate over prayer in the public schools is not likely to end with a constitutional amendment any more than it ended with the Supreme Court decision 22 years ago. At Central High School, Lou Ruggiero, Channel 12 Action News. The Supreme Court still tackles prayer in public schools, one just last week involving a football coach in New Jersey and a team prayer.